welcome to another ATN tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over the zero process of your 4K scope. So uh, before zeroing, uh, please make sure that the correct lens type is selected. Uh, you, can, you can check this by going into the system settings, press the OK center button, and then click left once to get to the system settings, and press the OK button again. Uh, here, you're going to go to the last tab where it says settings. And if you look here where it says device type, uh, I have here the X8 4K Pro 3x14. So if you have the 5x20 model, choose that one. Uh, and make sure it's cor set correctly, otherwise um, you know, your, your zero is going to be off. It's not going to give you the correct zero. So let's exit this. All right, so um, to zero in your scope, uh, you will need to go into the Profile Zero section in the System Settings, or you can choose it from the Shortcut Carousel. So by clicking the OK button, you'll get to the Shortcut Carousel. And here, if you click Zero Reticle, um, you'll get to the Zero Setup. But we're going to go through the System Settings because I want to touch a little bit on the Zero Profiles as well. So we'll exit here. Save changes, and we're going to go back to the menu, and we're going to go to system settings, and we're going to go to the profiles in zero tab. Before you begin zero, the zeroing process, you will need to either create a new profile or utilize an existing one. We recommend uh, to create a new one to understand the process better. So, you can go into, you can either choose the current profile that you have or go into other and create a new profile. Um, the first profile is already set by default um, in the scope, but we'll create a new one just for these purposes. So we're going to select profile two, load, and there we go. The new um, profile is created. So profiles are primarily used in order to utilize your scope on various weapons. This way, when you're moving your scope from one gun to the next, you can simply select the profile that you have already created for the particular gun you are using. Multiple profiles are also used to zero in the scope on the same gun, but at different ranges. For example, one profile may be called AR 50 yards and another AR 200 yards, allowing you to create two separate profiles to better fine tune your shooting solutions for both shorter and longer shooting distances. So in, in order to uh, the change the profile name to what you want. You can open the ATN Obsidian app and connect your phone or tablet to your scope. I have a video on that uh, on this channel, so check it out. Uh, and you can change your profiles either for iOS devices or on Android devices. Um, also, we're next we're going to show you how to actually zero the scope. Um, also, make sure that the the rifle is in a fixed position, like a uh, bench rest or sandbags. Okay, so let's proceed to zeroing the reticle. We've chosen our profile. So from here on Profiles and Zero, we will choose Current. And when you get to the subcategory, press uh, OK on Zero Reticle. And you will see on your screen a, a crosshair with a reticle. So uh, while keeping the gun steady, uh, take a shot. Uh, use the keypad and scroll wheel. Uh, to move the red crosshair to the point of impact. So while keeping the white uh, crosshair in the same place you were aiming, we're just going to move the red one towards that red mark of that first uh, shot fired. So we're going to bring it up while still keeping the white one steady. This is why it's preferably done with a like a bench rest or send back so the the white cross here doesn't get moved. So we're going to get it nice and center. All right, once uh, it's there, you just press the OK button to to save it. This menu will come up, and you just click on Save and Exit. Um, please note also that um, although you may not need more than one shot to zero in your scope, uh, we, we do recommend that you repeat the process several times to make sure that you are truly zeroed in. So 
But as you gain experience in zeroing your scope, it should take you no time at all to zero it. If you are zeroing your scope, for, let's say for like 50 yards, 75 yards, or even 100 yards, you may, need to, you may want to fine tune your zero. To do that, uh, once you have the initial base magnification reticle um, zeroed, go back into the zero reticle uh, tab here, press the OK button, and it'll get you to this screen. So you would want to press OK again, go into zoom, press OK, and from here, you just zoom in all the way to your, with your scope. You can use the scroll wheel. Once you've zoomed in, uh, press the OK button again, and it'll give you the option of moving that reticle again. <clears throat> here I have it in the middle because my distance isn't very far, but with, with 100 yards, you would, it, would, it would make a big difference and you can kind of fine tune it this way. So once you fine tune it on your um, maximum magnification, press the OK button again, and you're going to want to save and exit. And that's it. That's your reticle uh, is zeroed. And um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.